Do you ever shoot with a team for photos or videos? Things like weddings, concerts, events, automotive, sports, or narrative production? If you have, then you know that communicating with your crew can range from inconvenient running around to find your crew, to shouting over a crowd or music, to calling each other on your phone for simple things like, hey, can you bring me a lens for my bag? Or what did you get on your white balance metering? Frankly, it's an unnecessary pain in the ass. That's why today I want to talk to you about one of the most underrated tools for filmmakers and photographers, a wireless headset. There are a few good options on the market and I have done a video in the past on the Hollyland C1 system, but today we're going to be looking at the Kang TV Cuminique 8 system. And we'll also compare the audio quality to systems like the Hollyland C1 as well as the C1 Pro. First of all, these headsets come out of the box already paired to one another with a master headset that the rest of the remote headsets pair to. They're bulkier than the Hollyland C1s, but that does have a few perks. It makes them a little bit more durable and they're rated for IP63 for dust and water resistance, meaning you're pretty well off in case, you know, you're shooting outdoors and it starts raining. The headsets are pretty straightforward. There's a power button with volume adjustments, you unmute the microphone by pulling down the microphone arm, and then you mute it by pushing the microphone arm back up. With a master headset, you can pair up to four remote headsets without the need for a hub. So it's a pretty versatile solution if you're shooting with a team of five or less. There's a compartment for a Canon NB6L battery, which is rated to run for 10 hours on the master headset and 13 hours on the remote headset. Plenty for a full shooting day. Now, let's talk about the audio quality that you can expect out of these Came TV Cuminique 8 headsets. Since these headsets don't have an audio output, I kind of had to set up this kind of really janky setup to, to record the audio. The remote headset is on the opposite side of the house right now in my office, sitting on a chair with another camera rolling with the microphone basically just in the ear cup to hopefully give you an approximation of what the audio sounds like to my ears whenever I'm using these headsets. Now, for those of you curious, this is what the Hollyland SolidCom C1 sounds like. And personally, I find my voice quality, my audio quality coming out of this a little bit more fuller, right? I feel like there's a little bit more of the highs. It's a lot less muffled, but we are in a quiet environment right now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn on this pretty large speaker. And really, we're gonna simulate some environments that you would actually be in. And let's say worst case scenario, you're filming in a club. What would that sound like using these headsets? This is what the audio from the Hollyland SolidCom C1 sounds like. Obviously, there's going to be some music in the background, but typically I find it that I can still hear the person talking on the other side pretty clearly. Oh, also, this music is from Epidemic Sound. This video isn't sponsored by Epidemic Sound, but you guys know I love them. And if you want music and sound effects for your work, check out my link in the description down below to sign up for a 30-day free trial. So this is what the Cuminique 8 sounds like with background sound. As I said earlier, the Hollyland C1s had a bit more fidelity, had more range in my voice, but that's because the Cuminic 8 has built-in noise cancellation even with the base model. Knowing that it has built-in noise cancellation, honestly, when comparing the two headsets, or when comparing to any other headset out there, kind of elevates it a little bit higher because noise cancellation is so important when you're talking about using headsets for communicating in loud environments. Okay, let's go ahead and crank the speaker as loud as it gets. Kind of like when you're at the reception during a wedding and you're standing right next to the speaker. Oh yeah, that's loud. How is the audio from the SolidCom C1 right now? I'm assuming there's a lot of background noise. Well, it's still definitely loud to me. I can barely hear myself talk, but here's the Cuminique 8. How does it compare to the other headsets? And this is the SolidCom C1 Pro with the active noise cancellation turned on. Let me know in the comment section down below which headset you guys think sounds the best. The SolidCom C1, the C1 Pro, or the Kane TV Cuminique 8. Okay, I think I got tinnitus from all of that, but all in the name of making fun YouTube videos, am I right? <laughs> okay, so the next question would be range. How far does it work? Well, the max advertised distance you can get a clear signal, according to KMTV, TV, is 1,500 feet. Now, that's of course gonna be in optimal conditions with line of sight, but when I was at a wedding a few months ago using these, I was able to get a spotty connection from the outdoor wedding area while my friend Jonathan was upstairs inside the building in the reception area grabbing gear. It definitely cut in and out depending on how much obstruction there was between us. But if I'm gonna be honest, the range and penetration of these headsets should be more than enough for any on-location shoot. 
I'd be comfortable using these to shoot a football game where I'm at one end zone of the field while my second shooter is at the other end zone. But I don't want to just give you my opinion, I want to also get the opinions of a few other photographers and videographers to share as well. Cool, what do you think of these headsets? Uh, they're pretty great. It's Any very idea? convenient being able to communicate with your team when you're not right next to each other. Um, I think that maybe the vocals could be a little clearer, but it's really not too bad, so. Okay, my hair is whack, right? Like, it's, it's... Okay, we're coming to you live from an actual real wedding day. Um, I just want to give you my thoughts really quick on this headset. The quality's great. Like I said, the earpiece thing is weirding me out because it's like flattening my ear. But besides that, like being able to communicate with my team is great. Like, like I'm going to be at this shot, this angle, here's the light, this is the color. It's amazing. Highly recommend. Overall, I think wireless headsets are so underrated in the low budget to middle end tier of creators. There's a reason why big productions use wireless headsets to communicate with their crew. It's the same reason why big event teams use them as well. They just make communication between your crew so much clearer and so much easier. It saves me time, but more importantly, it helps me improve the end product I'm producing when I'm on location. Now, let's talk about pricing. The Kane TV Cuminic 8 headsets come out to about $200 per headset or less, depending on the number of headsets you pick up at once. They come with one battery per headset and a battery charger, and they even come with this really nice hard shell case for transporting your headsets on and off location, which I really appreciate. And at the price of $200 per headset, they're actually a lot more affordable than the Hollyland Solidcom C1s, which come in at $250 per headset, and the Hollyland Solidcom C1 Pros come in at $325 per headset. While I've personally been using the Hollyland C1 and C1 Pros on my past few shoots because of the fact that, you know, the locations were smaller and it wasn't going to be that loud, I just wanted something that was compact and easy to use for communication. Uh, but after this video and doing the test, especially in a loud environment, I kind of think next time I'm shooting in a really, really loud location, I'm probably going to use the KM TV ones. If I had to recommend a wireless headset solution for someone who's just looking for wireless headsets that work and get the most bang for their buck, I'd probably recommend the Cuminic 8 system, even though I like the Hollyland ones so much more in terms of the stacks. If you're interested in checking any of these systems out, links will of course be in the description down below. All right, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate everyone's support on my full-time YouTube journey these past few months. We just got past 50K subs. That's, I was super pumped to find out. Um, and more so, I've really been enjoying talking to everyone in the comment section, uh, so much so that I'm gonna be creating a Discord channel in the coming months so that way we can build like a little community of creators. So keep an eye out for that. All right, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.